Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been trying to find time to sit and make a video, talk about some stuff, um, but I just have a hard time finding time. <laughs> um, this is Paisley's head right here, if you couldn't tell. We're sitting out on the porch. Um, Chase and Madison are both taking a standardized test right now to see where they are uh, academically. Um, this is Chase's here, give me that book so we don't get it wet. This is Chase's last test today. Madison still has one more to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I was going to, I've been wanting to sit and make a video and talk about my plans for like this coming school year and what I'm, what we're doing. Um, and every time I think I've made a decision and I'm set on it, I change my mind. Like I cannot figure out what to do. Um, Madison's going to school. We'll start with saying that she wants to go to school she needs to get out of the house she needs to get away from her siblings we need some separation um but i'm hoping that she likes it i have a feeling that she will we've already gotten like her school supplies and a backpack and we need to get her a couple more things and probably some uh new clothes or back to school clothes or something so yeah and then for a while, and even up until just a few days ago, I was pretty set on sending the boys to school too. Um, for a lot of reasons, and then I keep going back and forth like I, I can't like make up my mind because there's, um, there's just like positives and negatives to both situations. Like I, I can I I see the positives of them going to school, and I also see the positives of them homeschooling. And it's just like trying to figure out like what's the best one. Mommy, I go. You go. Uh -uh. Go get uh -uh. toys. Uh -uh. Huh? Uh -uh. What pups? Uh, yeah. What's a pup? Pup. Pup. What's that? All right, hold on. I gotta go see what a pup is. Pups was a cereal. <laughs> My biggest reason for wanting to send them to school was my own ment my own mental health. Like just feeling like I'm so overwhelmed and I feel like I can't handle just like being around them all day. And oh my gosh, that sounds like awful. I hate how that sounds. But at the same time, I see like other homeschool moms and how they seem like they're just like loving it. <laughs> and they just like, they're really into homeschooling and stuff and they're all for it and they're all excited about their curriculum they're buying and I get excited about curriculum too um but I feel like they're just like more into it than I am and they're also they also like I don't know I feel like they don't get overwhelmed and like overstimulated by their kids and I do and I just need to have I need to have quiet during the day I need to have my own time to breathe and think and not have kids like constantly mommying me like all day and Chase is at this age right now where he just has a million questions about everything and he's asking me like how magnets work and like how fast the wind blows in a hurricane and you know um I don't know stuff about space and I don't have all the answers to his questions and he's asking me questions all day long and it's just not only it's that plus a million other things that makes me feel like overwhelmed and so yeah that was my main reason for wanting to put them in school i'm like i'm gonna get a nice break <laughs> like they're gonna be gone for like seven hours a day um and i was looking forward to it like i got all their school supplies got backpacks we got lunch boxes um we got their, their school supply list and we went and got everything on the list pretty much everything there's a couple more things i need to get um but i kept the receipts for everything because i was like if i decide to keep them home and I can return some of this stuff, um, which I might end up doing because now I'm feeling, now I'm back to feeling like I should homeschool them. Like with all the, I don't know, there's just like, there are like weird things being taught in schools these days. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. I'm not sure like how prevalent that is. I think it varies on your location, what state you're in and stuff. New Jersey is a very liberal state. So I, I feel like, I don't know it's like I I want to be able to trust that what the things that we teach them at home will like overpower whatever they get at school but at the same time they'll be spending more time at school than they will be at home pretty much I mean seven hours at school versus like 
five hours at home. But it's not all. It's not only that stuff. A lot of it. A lot of my feeling just comes from like, why are we sending our kids away? Like they turn five and then we just send them away for most of the day to sit in a classroom and sit at a desk most of the time and be told not to talk and they tell them when they're allowed to eat and when they're allowed to go to the bathroom and that they're around like a, a whole bunch of kids who I don't know and I don't know their family values and what, you know, what kinds of stuff the kids are going, th I mean the kids influence each other. Um, also with like the cell phones and stuff, like most boys are introduced to corn at eight. Eight years old is the average age that they see that stuff for the first time. And I know there's going to be kids in the third grade with cell phones. Chase is eight. It's just like, what are, like if I send them to school, like what am I doing? Like, yeah, they're going to go, they're going to school and we all went to school. Like I went to school. Everybody pretty much went to school. And now, but now things are a lot different. Like, this is not like the school, the elementary school of the 90s, you know? So... I don't know. And I'm sure it's fine. I mean, I'm sure if I were to send them to school, like, hopefully they'd be okay. <laughs> but there's also times where kids aren't okay, and, you know, then their parents take them out of school, which we could always, we could do that too. I could put them in school, and then things maybe don't go well, or they don't like it, and I could bring them home. But then I just come back to, like, why am I even putting them there in the first place? Like, my main reason for not putting them, my main reason for putting them in there is because I'm overwhelmed. Like, why am I overwhelmed with my own kids? So, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. So, yeah. Madison's registered the, for school. The boys are not. But they have all their stuff. So, I could decide at any... I could decide last minute to put them in school. And then I'll, I'll go on, like, Instagram and stuff. And I'll... I'll see... Oh, this is your butt all wet. I'll see. She's playing with water down here. That's why I was saying her butt might be wet. <laughs> I'll see like posts from people about their morning baskets, which we've never done a morning basket. Um, but it looks so nice and organized and exciting and they've got all their new curriculum and I don't know. And then I I, I think about all, all the positives there are to homeschooling and like why are we sending our kids away? Why, why do we send our kids away? Like it's just they need their childhood and we need to preserve their childhood and their playtime and you know why is five years old the age that they have to go sit in a room with a teacher who we don't know with a group with a, a bunch of other kids that we don't know and spend so much time away from their family like why is that the norm? Even when Madison first started school, like I felt like that. She started pre-K, and I was like, well, that's the end. She's going to school three days a week, and then after this, she, after this, she's going to go to kindergarten, and then her, her childhood is over, and, you know, it's just school, 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 until she is a teenager and an adult, and then, and then everything's over. Like, my time with her is over. That's how, that's how I felt. Also, another reason that makes me, that I kind of want to keep homeschooling this year is because this year like Madison is going back to school and we won't have her like I hate to say this but like her negative influence about school because she's always like oh I hate school this is stupid I don't want to do work like why do we have to know this like just her attitude about school about yeah school homeschooling in general is not great <laughs> and it's been like rubbing off on the boys and I kind of want to see how homeschool would be if we didn't have that influence you know if they could, they could try school you know without that negativity in the air <laughs> and see how it goes so yeah that's all i wanted to talk about just a lot of uh, going back and forth and being indecisive um our trip is coming up soon though well not soon but yeah go ahead you can play with the water uh, in August and we've decided that we are going to go see Tennessee um, kind of leaning towards like scoping out Tennessee more um, Georgia I feel like it's gonna be too hot I just cannot stand the humidity I'm very irritable it makes me very irritable and angry and I can't be outside in it and I just don't want to move somewhere where it's like humid for like longer than it is here like here in New Jersey it's humid 
from like sometimes starting in May. So like part of May, June, July, August, so like four months out of the year. And I've heard that like in Georgia, it starts getting humid in like March or April. So I don't want to extend how long the humidity lasts for. So yeah, we're gonna go check out the Gatlinburg area. It looks like there's a lot of fun stuff to do in that area. Um, so yeah, Tennessee, and then we're not sure where after that. I guess we'll decide when we're in Tennessee <laughs> where we should go next. Um, but I guess that is it for this video. Um, they're probably gonna go inside. I'm sweating just sitting out here. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave me a sunflower down in the comments if you stayed all the way through this video. And I'll see you guys for my next one. Bye.